That's right. 30 seconds. You just continue to speak for 30 seconds. Do you think you can do that? This will really help your fluency. Don't worry about your grammar, your language, your vocabulary. Just communicate ideas. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to not be perfect. I want to know if you can communicate for 30 seconds without stopping and being really uncomfortable. You need to try to answer my question or respond to me continuously for 30 seconds. And the challenge is to not have uncomfortable pauses. If you do that, it's okay, but you need to try again. You need to show yourself you can speak for 30 seconds without an uncomfortable pause. Okay? All right. First question. It's an easy one. What is your favorite season and why? You have 30 seconds. Ten more seconds. And done. Thank you for your response. Mama, for sure. There's nothing better than a nice cold drink on a summer's day. I love going outside in my shorts and, and just being able to not even think about, you know, do I need a jumper? Do I need a jacket or something like that? Oh, winter can be so annoying like that. And um, for me, summer just revitalizes me and gives me energy. And, and uh, if I could have summer all year round, I think I would. Are you ready for the second question? The second one is, who is your best friend and why do you like this person? One more time. Who is your best friend and why do you like this person? Thirty seconds. Five. Four, three, two, one. How was that? Was that okay? Did you keep talking? I hope so. But remember, you can just practice. You can just try again. Hmm, that's a good question. Uh, I, I don't actually have a best friend. I've, I've got a few really close friends. I'll, I'll talk about one of them. Um, 
I'll, I'll talk about Mark. So I've known Mark almost all my life. He, he's, he's, um, become so close to me. We're almost like brothers now. And I think I like him because he's someone that <laughs> is unique and silly and makes everyone laugh around him. Okay. Next one. Mm, let me see. Oh, okay. This one is a deeper question. I think you can talk for a long time about this one, but it's a deeper question. You have to maybe think about it a little bit. So remember, you can say, whew, good question. Let me think. I'm not sure. Like this, okay? All right, so the next question is, what is your greatest achievement? One more time. What is your greatest achievement? You have 30 seconds. Tell me about it. Ten seconds. And done. So that was a deep question, but I hope you gave a good answer. If you didn't, remember, try again. Let me see, I've climbed Mount Everest. I've skydived without a parachute. Um, just kidding. Um, that really is a good question. Uh, my greatest achievement would probably have to be starting an English school when I was a bit younger. Um, I I didn't really know what I was doing, but I just had a passion for teaching English. And my friend and I decided, let's just try, let's just do it. And um, so we started a small little school and it helped the local community. And for me, that's that was something that I didn't really have the experience for. I wasn't really ready for, but I tried it anyway. And I think we did a really good job. Yeah, so I'd say opening that small school when I was younger. Okay, next one. Uh, okay, simple one, simple one. So this is not so deep. Bit easier for you to talk about. But if you didn't do much, maybe not so easy. So let's see. Anyway. What did you do last weekend? One more time. What did you do last weekend? 30 seconds. Let's go. Ten seconds. And done. That was a much easier question. But did you speak for 30 seconds without stopping uncomfortably? Ah. Hmm. Just trying to remember. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. I, I met my friends, you know, as per usual. Um, we, we usually meet and, and, you know, watch some sport. Um, 
Uh, oh, also, I actually went hiking. Uh, there's a mountain nearby, and I went there and scaled to the top of the mountain, and that was good. Uh, but apart from that, not much else. It was a pretty kind of nice weekend, but not exciting. All right. This is the last question. And this question for me is very important to me. And it's it should be important to you. So tell me, why... Do you want to improve your English speaking skill? One more time. Why do you want to improve your English speaking skill? I'm very curious, okay? Please tell me. 30 seconds. Very interesting. 10 seconds. And that's it. Done. 30 seconds again. Obviously, I'm not trying to necessarily improve my English speaking. Um, I'm actually just trying to improve your speaking. And the reason I'm doing this is because I've been around so many people now that, you know, want to improve their English ability and skills. And so many struggle with their speaking because they don't have enough opportunities to talk to other people. So I just felt that if I put a video out there like this, um, it could help some people, um, get, give them a chance to talk to someone, even if it's just me. Um, speaking connects you with other people, and when you're out, it gives you confidence, and I've seen it open up a lot of doors for a lot of people, so I hope to open up your doors. <laughs>